Okay, so in this video, we are going to understand a very important concept of balance in an equation. And when I say equation, it primarily implies algebraic equation, but we will have a little bit of discussion on an arithmetic equation also. Now let us look at an arithmetic equation given here. So we have 8 minus 3 equals 4 plus 1. And then we also discussed that we need to have an equality sign. And that is what we have. There is an equality sign. Now this equation, let's look at the two sides. What happens when we evaluate both of these expressions? So this can be simplified further as 8 minus 3. It gives us 5. And when we say 4 plus 1, it also gives us 5. So what we can see is that this side and this side, that is 8 minus 3 and 4 plus 1, both of them evaluate to the same value, which is 5 in this case. Right? Such type of equation is known as a balanced equation. In fact, an equation is always balanced. It's a balanced equation that we are talking of. Now for convenience, we want to understand that there is this one side of the equation, there is another side. So what name should we take? So what's, as a convention, what we do is we call this side, which is towards your left. When you look at it, it's your left. So I will call this as left-hand side of the equation, as you can see here. Left-hand side, which is 8 minus 3, LHS. And when I evaluate this, it comes out to be 5. Similarly, this side, we call it as the RHS or the right hand side of the equation. This also evaluates to 5. So there are two takeaways from here. The first one is that we are discussing about the concept of a balance. That is the equation must evaluate to the same values on both the sides. And the second takeaway is that we as a convention we name the two sides as left hand side and the right hand side depending on how you see it from your seeing angle. Not the angle, but your seeing direction. This is your left hand side and this is your right hand side. Now let us explore this concept of balance further by taking the same equation that we had there, which is 8 minus 3 equals 4 plus 1. So let us do one thing. So what we are going to do is we are going to do four operations on these equations for both the sides okay so in the first one we will add two to both the sides so let us start with the left hand side that is the LHS the left hand side gives me 8 minus 3 now I have to add 2 to both the sides so what we do is 8 minus 3 plus 2 which actually gives us 8 minus 3 is 5 and plus 2 so that gives us 7 so when I add 2 to the left hand side, we get 7. Now let us take the right hand side, which is 4 plus 1. Here also we are supposed to add 2. So 4 plus 1 plus 2. And if we add this, we get 7. What has happened is that by adding the same number 2 to both the sides, we get the left hand side equals right hand side which is 7 equals to 7 so it hasn't changed the balance of the equation right adding a same number 2 to both the sides in fact you can even try adding other numbers to similar other equations and just verify this for yourself now let's try to do the same thing by subtracting 2 from both the sides so we have LHS left hand side which is 8 minus 3. Now I would like to subtract 2. So we'll write it as 8 minus 3 minus 2. So 8 minus 3 gives me 5 and 5 minus 2 gives us 3. So this is what our left hand side would add with 2. Now let us look at the right hand side. So in right hand side we have 4 plus 1 and now we are supposed to subtract 2. So we have 4 plus 1 minus 2, right? So 4 plus 1 is 5 minus 2. It evaluates to 3. And again, you can see that left-hand side equals right-hand side, 
when we subtract the same number from both the sides which is in this case 3 equals 3 okay now let us continue further and now look what happens when we multiply right so in this case let us look at the left hand side of the equation where we have 8 minus 3 and we are supposed to multiply both the sides by 3 so let us do 8 minus 3 multiplied by 3 now 8 minus 3 is 5 which multiplied by 3 gives us 15 now this is what my left hand side comes down to when I multiply it by 3 now let us look at what happens when we multiply the right hand side by the number 3 so we are supposed to multiply 4 plus 1 by 3 right so that will be 4 plus 1 multiplied by 3 which is 5 multiplied by 3 gives you 15 so that's amazing because we again have left hand side equals right hand side which in this case is 15 equals 15 we still haven't disturbed the balance of the equation by multiplying same number 3 on both the sides you can prove this to yourself for other equations as well now let us continue with the last basic operation which is the division dividing both the sides by 2 so let us look at the left hand side which is 8 minus 3 or we can say 8 minus 3 divided by 2 it gives us 5 by 2 this is our left hand side now let us look at the right hand side so in right hand side we have 4 plus 1 and we need to divide this by the number 2 so 4 plus 1 divided by 2 when we simplify this we get it as 5 by 2 which is your right hand side so in this case also we see that the left hand side is equal to right hand side which is 5 by 2 equals 5 by 2 so what can we conclude from this little trials of ours is that adding subtracting multiplying or dividing both the sides of an equation by the same number does not disturb its balance and this is a very useful property but let us check whether this applies to algebraic